Hey guys, it's Jan. Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on using the Ben Nye Banana Powder, which I absolutely love. I've had it for about a week now, and um, it's just totally worth buying in my opinion. So I'm finishing up my makeup. We have friends coming over in about an hour, and I have some things I have to do, so I'm going to have to make this kind of quick. But let me just show you what I use so far on my face. Today I decided to do some products that are just sitting in my makeup bag, um, makeup collection rather, that are just not getting any kind of love whatsoever. They're high-end products. It's a shame because they're pretty expensive, and they're just sitting here and I'm not using them, which is really kind of a shame. So let me just tell you what they are. This first one's a YSL palette. And it's, I think it's called Harmony, four color, four color Harmony for eyes. Just a beautiful palette with a two different types of browns. This is a pink, and that's a beautiful purple. That's what I have on my eyes today. I'm actually in the middle of just blending this one out a little bit more, and um, then I was going to start with my Ben Nye. Actually, I was going to start with my concealer, then my Ben Nye. Anyway, so that's what's on my eyes. My blush today and my bronzer came from this palette that I got during the holidays last year and I've used this maybe I want to say four times which is a shame because I think this was about sixty five dollars and it's the NARS Dan Marie or Dan Marie I don't know how they pronounce it but there's all different colors of blushes the Sin, Desire, uh, Super Orgasm, Orgasm and then the highlighter Albatross and Casino bronzer and I use the Super Orgasm and the Casino so um, I'm done with that for now but I'm glad that I did this today because you know, we got products here that you use, uh, that you don't use rather, and it, it, you know, you got to justify the money. It really just doesn't make any sense. And then this other one that I use a little bit more than the other two, it's another YSL product. It's called the Collector Powder for the Complexion, and it's just a beautiful um, highlight. You can use this as a cheek color, which I've done, which I like to do sometimes. I like to use a bronzer as my cheek color because it just saves me time and it gives me that flush of color. So I've done it with this. This is purely a highlight down the middle there, as you can see, which I'm going to use today. So I use that, or I'm going to use that. And then the lipsticks I chose today, which this one I've used, you'll see I've used it, but it just, you know, it just sits there. And I, I don't remember the last time I used it. Uh, then again, I probably have about 150 lipsticks in this drawer here, too, so I can't find half my stuff. But this is um, YSL number 25. Beautiful color, and I have it swatched right there. So that's that. And if I choose to use lip gloss, I'm going to use this one by Laura Mercier. It's bare pink, and I use this literally only one time. Um, Black Track Fluid Line is on my eyes, and my mascaras today are two samples that I used, uh, Smashbox slash DNA just trying to use them up and get rid of them, and full exposure. And I like these two together. I started with this and finished up with this. And they're both thick brushes that carry a lot of products, which is what I like. So now I did my blush. I did my bronzer. I'm going to do my concealer now because my eyes are basically done. And did I tell you the color? This is number 20 by Chanel. And I have, I'm going to say, about half of it left. I'm just making sure my hands are clean. I'm just going to put this in, I mean rather rub this in you can see that just blends beautifully I do love this but you know this is the thing when you are a makeup junkie that you just buy products and you forget the fabulous products that are in your collection and they just go unused and I would hate to pick up anything and find that I can't use it if I only used it once or twice because it just sat there and it got, you know, just crappy by sitting there and collected and broke down and just doesn't look good. All right, so you can see I never really rub under my eyes. I just pat. If I feel that I need to blend, I'll take my F80 and just blend that very, very, um, you know, line of where the concealer ended. So that is that. And now I'm going to go with my Ben Nye powder. Ben Nye powder, it's fantastic. I ordered it from Camera Ready Cosmetics. This is three ounces. It cost me, I think, about $12.99. Um, it is yellow-based powder, but don't be afraid because um, I believe him, too, when he says this. Mario, I can't pronounce his last name, it's Kim Kardashian's uh, makeup artist. I am on his blog all the time because he's taking a poll on where to do his next workshop and hopefully it's going to be New York. It seems that overwhelmingly people voted for New York so um, if he should come back to New York I want to go. But um, 
he's Kim Kardashian's makeup artist, but I didn't say that. And he uses this pretty much on everyone. So a lot of people are kind of put out when they see the yellow powder, but he assures them that it would work on them. So I believe that, and it works fantastic on me. I am dark, you know, like uh, his clients are, well, Kim Kardashian is, dark skin. My eyes are, you know, brown. But um, I take him at his word that he uses it on everyone and not to be fearful of the color. So I'm going to go in underneath here. Oh, the other thing I want to show you, too, is the brushes I'm using. Okay, hold on. Let me just get this on. The brushes I am using are these special edition brushes that I ordered from Nordstrom last year, just short handle. Uh, Mac brushes, and that was my 129, and this is the, and I ordered another set too, and I don't know where they are right now. This is the 168, but these are perfect for travel and perfect for this little bag. This little brush I love, it's the 227, and that's just for, you know, a nice sheer wash of color on your eyes, but I also use my regular um, Mac brushes as well, all my regular brushes, but I wanted you know, just to take out stuff today that I haven't seen or used in a long time. I'm going to go in with my casino one more time. I'm looking a little um, washed out, just right on top of that, kind of at the outer edges of where the banana powder went, and just hitting the very high parts of my face. And this is casino, like I said. And bringing it down my neck. I am much tanner down here than I am there, and into my ears. Okay. So I think that's going to be enough just to sit down and have lunch with my friends. So my highlight is going to be um, this, but I did use the banana powder, as you saw, and you can see it did not make me look yellow at all. I think it's just a really great um, powder, and I'm actually going to use a little bit more just for the bridge of my nose just to make sure that's all blended and it's just beautiful and it, it doesn't feel cakey it doesn't feel like um, like there's too much on it's very very light and you can see the finish is just beautiful I love it I'm, I'm so glad that I got it and I would highly recommend it to everyone but that's what I used to set my concealer with and it's just fantastic. So I cannot rave about this enough, even though, you know, I used a couple of the products after it, but went back to it. I think it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal product. Totally recommend it. Cost me about $12.99, I think. And um, I ordered something else with it, too, which I'm not going to show you right now. I am going to show you right now. It's right here. It's the Graftobian um, Cream foundation. It's very, very light. I got the color Bombshell, but I ordered these two together, and I can't remember my order. I think it was like, I don't know, I want to say like $25, $26. I don't really remember, but totally worth it. This was really very good. I used it already, but this is just a winner. Love it. So now I'm going to finish up. That's that. And um, I use my highlights, and I'm going to use my angled blush brush, which is basically clean. I'm just going down my nose top of my cheeks and I like to bring my highlight on my chin because I think it's sexy to see a nice little shimmer here I like shimmer everywhere I mean I'm just a highlight junkie I just think it looks good on me it makes me look fresh it makes me look alive it makes someone look uh, it does have that youthful kind of feel I think anyway so that's that Eyes are done, face is done, and now I'm going in with my lipstick, which is this beautiful mauve color here. No lip liner. I'm about to have lunch. It's just a beautiful wash of color. I can't even describe it. It's just like a very soft mauve. It's so creamy, I'm not even putting on the bare, um, bare pink. So that is my look for today. And I'm going to go straighten my hair a little bit more, just the ends. I do need my keratin treatment. I feel that my hair really responds well to it, so I need that. And I hope you like this, guys. So really quickly, I know this was a very quick kind of all-over-the-place kind of tutorial on this Ben Nye, but um, you got to see me apply it. I think you're seeing the finish. It doesn't look cakey. I will use right now my... Um, D-Slick, 
and that usually brings everything to life, but I really don't need it with the banana powder, but it's just habit. So that is the look of the day, guys. Hope you like this, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.